good day lords and ladies and welcome back to RimWorld Biotech and our new let's play Crimson Knights. Now, um, unfortunately my previous let's play, the last few, I couldn't save it. I've tried everything, it just, there's something's just broken in the mod list. So, we've had to abandon it unfortunately and come back to this one. Now, before I get too far, far into this, I'm just going to say this right now. This mod list is pretty big. Um, it is 217 mods, um, which basically means that I've had some issues keeping it stable. So I probably will put up the mod list in the collection section eventually, um, but it's going to take me a little bit of time because of other things that are going on. Also, just the game is... This mod list is interesting, but the core concept around this is I'm a massive Warhammer fan, and um, with the release of the Chaos the Wolves DLC for Total War Warhammer 3, and just some things I'd been planning for a while, I thought, well, I'd really love to do a like return to medieval Rimworld, because I really like medieval runs in Rimworld. Rim, Rimworld. But I wanted to do a spin on it, so I thought, well, why don't I do like a dark fantasy uh, Rimworld series? I had been in intending to do one previously called like Weird West, um, which was basically sort of fantasy elements, but the colonists were basically like Wild West settlers kind of thing. Um, unfortunately, that fell through with, an, with a, when the game went to the current iteration to 1.4, and it broke a lot of the mods that I was going to use for that. Um, so. I have pivoted and we're doing sort of like a grim, dark, a fantasy uh, series. And the thing is, I, I've I've played the Sangrophages in the base biotech. They're okay. They're not stand out to me. They don't really have the sort of nerve-wrecking dread that I, for someone who comes from sort of the world of darkness and from like Warhammer fantasy setting, the vampires in those worlds are literally terrifying like if you're a normal person and you see sort of like a vampire in warhammer fantasy walking down the road like you better just run and hope that he's like finds it entertaining enough that he just leaves you alone um because they are literally like just like killing machines so with that in mind i wanted to recreate my favorite bloodline um from warhammer fantasy which are the blood dragons which are basically vampire knights so this is what we're going to do this is the story of Crimson Knights. You are the last aspirant, you are the last knight of your order. You have awakened in the ruins of your like chapter house, of like your branch of your order of vampiric knights, and it's you and a bunch of serfs that you've managed to basically bring under your dominion that were living like as hobos in the ruins. And it's going to be up to you to rebuild your order, stake your claim, and make return to the glorious past. Um, and yes, this would be very interesting. Very fun, very thematic. I like playing very thematic Let's Plays of RimWorld. So before much further, let's dive into the Crimson Knight. Knights, let's go, folks. I'll see you all in a second. Welcome, welcome everyone to the world of Rummy. Now, Rummy is a, well, in a bit of a state of the world. Um, some kind of ancient disaster have, has sundered, has sundered the con has sundered the world to pieces. And, and I'm just going to get rid of the help menu. One second. There we go. And has sundered the world to pieces. Like most of it has, a uh, good half of it has just vanished from creation. What is left behind is a warped and unrecognizable landscape of people trying to put the world back together, mostly with very limited technology. Um, but there is also something worse. With the collapse of the old world, Rummy has found itself plagued by warping portals that have opened across across from time and space and have, well, as you can see, corruption has creeped in. Chaos has come to the world of Rummy. And, well, it is up to Gwen Blackheart 
and her free thralls to rebuild the Order of the Dragon. And as you can see here, with our sect, our faithful, the Blood Oath, those who follow us, and our Order of the Dragon, our chapter keep here, we shall rebuild what was lost. So... Here we go. Into the world. Now, yes, well, our castle has been long abandoned. It's in ruins. We also have the unfortunate issue that it seems that a bunch of bugs have taken up residence, which is not great. So first things first, we need to basically uh, get ourselves into some degree of order. Um, so... Let's see what we have lying around. We have some some bits and pieces. Yeah, cigars. Um, but most of all, we are not in a great situation now. We have some wine. That's nice. Cigarettes. Don't know how they always got there. Um, some silver. It's basically this is all all what. Gwen's thralls have been able to pull together. They've been able to pull bits and pieces out. Steel Gladius. Okay. So before we tick anything off, we have to think about this carefully, because it's currently daytime, and our dear Gwen, as you can see, is a vampire. So, it wouldn't be too good them she's low level vampire um was only recently blooded when she went into her torpor sleep and well to awaken to find her chapter keep in such a state is not great with her sire dead and her other initiates because this isn't this isn't like their full chapter keep this was more like a chapter house so you had her sire and probably a couple of other Initiates like her that had just been blooded into the order. But now we find ourselves huh, in a bit of a tight situation. Um, there's not a lot around us. Not great soil content, and yes. We're not looking great. I did use a lot of really cool mods for this, folks. You've, um, folks, you've got sort of like the new reinvented like tree mod, which you can see all the lovely different tree types. Didn't make them too big, because as nice as they look, they can really slow down the game. So I did limit some stuff, but let's let's get into this. So first things first, orders. We also are working with basically an ammo mod, but it's a simplistic ammo mod to basically make it a lot easier to do. But let's do orders, we're going to do zones, we'll go build roof areas. And let's just get the whole roof, let's just get this whole place roofed up. Because at the moment it's roofed up, we can basically do stuff with our vampire. As it stands right now, Gwen is in a bit of a state. First things first though, she needs to basically get some, some armor on. Get some armor on, and then equip a Gladius, please. Yep, I know, warning outside, not great. I know you're burning. Initial exposure. We'll go standard. The chance of another vampire character having counter having vampires was 5%, and the lowest generation vampire active outside. We'll go custom. We'll make it... We'll make it so that most vampires that turn up are going to be like low, low level vampires. We'll set it to 3%. Well, we'll set it to a low, yeah. Because vampires aren't common. So let's set them to a low couple of percentage. Actually, no. Let's just go standard. 7th generation is pretty powerful though. I 
do not know. The vote is 10%. Yeah, let's set that to 10%. That's the default setting, so let's go like that. Right. So C's basically hiding away inside, unfortunately, now. Okay. Fantastic. Let's just, just get a weapon equipped, Gwen. You need to get something equipped. Okay, get that equipped. Fantastic. Yeah, I know you're in sunlight. Let's get you back inside. I mean, you are a vampire, so not a lot of stuff will be an issue for you straight away. Yeah. So we've explored these areas. Okay, that's fine. So she's running around like a headless chicken. Right. So our castle is really ruined, so we need to get the roof on as quickly as possible. We also need to get some storage in place and cut down some of these trees, because they're basically blocking our view. Um, so. Cut down these trees. Okay. Because our castle is in a state. Um, not a lot to, to go on. We should also set up what our serfs can wear. Because we have basically two types of people in this colony. We have... Well... We have our vampires and we have our serfs, which are basically our peasant folk. Well, serfs were technically below peasants. So, serfs cannot wear armor of any type. Well, not the fancy armors anyway. Nor can they wear the armor of the order. They can wear gambesons, maybe a basic hallback, but nothing of status. Simple light stuff as well, scout padded stuff they can probably wear. Because the vampires won't care about that. But anything that has like royal like royal capes, royal stuff, no. They won't they won't want them to wear anything that stands out too much. We also have We also have mods in place that limits technology as well, folks. So um Indeed. Brigandine? Maybe Brigandine. I'd be generous and allow them to have Brigandine. Um, but their armors are off the menu for them. Um, so the only people, the only decent folk that can wear um, our armors are it's going to be our vampires. Come on. Get that on. So she has got basically some basic armor on. You also get these things collected. Let's just, first of all, let's get the, the the allow option going. We also have to be aware of if there could be anything lurking around. Gwen's not in a great state either. Now, one thing I will say, folks, normally in, because I'm using the... Um, for those of you who are interested, I'm using the Medieval Overhaul mod. What used to happen is that you used to put stuff in here and it used to disappear into the boxes and you could open up the boxes. But ever since 1.4 has come out, uh, that has basically changed. And uh, it's resulted in um, stuff that's like stacking on top like this, which I find a bit frustrating, but it is just how it is. Um, not a lot we can do about that. So let's get that being built. We also have to be aware that there may be hazards on the map. Like this is this place is completely wrecked. You've got to like broken down ancient carts. We've got just all kinds of things lying about, forgotten and lost. Um 
We also have supplies of food, there's animals. So, colonies against beds, hunters lack weapons, but fortunately, our vampire is relevant, talented at what she does. So Gwen, probably gonna go, we can go over piercing, an expertise in armor piercing when using sop, melee weapons, very nice. Expertise in fast paced melee combat. Let's go with dueling because she is a blood dragon after all. So, let's check once that's been declared. Let us look at her ideology. So the blood oath. We are blood feeders, supremacists, and the blood court. So our leader is always going to be the best melee fighter. Uh, we are also people to dominate all others because, you know, vampires. And we have blood feeding. Well, drinking blood is sacred. One thing that is slightly unfortunate when I did this is that I wanted blood feeding because it's very atmospheric and sticks to the nature of, of the order of the blood dragons. But the issue is that for some reason they don't count the vampirism from Rim World of Madness as vampires. So unfortunately... We are going to have the issue where they're going to complain they don't have they don't have um, blood feeding, but we have a lot of things going on as you can see. We have our order master, sanguinary priest, order champion, high scribe, a whole host of things. Lots of lovely relics to find as well. Blade of the Firstborn, armor of blood, and Adhorahas's helm. For those of you who are interested, Adorash is basically um, the founding vampire, like our progenitor of the uh, of the Blood Dragon Order, um, and was very much one of those who believed full, fully in uh, the concept of honor and virtue, which is ironic for a vampire. He wanted worthy foes and to overcome worthy foes. Right. So everything gets stacked away. Have some equipment. Let's get Yeah, so she's got a shield equipped. Leather shield and a sword. That's being built. Right, so our castle is an absolute wreck. We got trees growing out of it, we got the front door hanging off, which Let's not lie, it's not great. We're also in a medieval setting, so steel is going to be a premium. Um, we have some supplies. We also probably need to basically fix the hole. Fix the hole in our gates and uh, block up any holes for people to just wander in, which, you know, a bit bad thing to have when, you're a when you basically have a castle. Um, but yes... You also need to basically, you know, get supplies stacked, all that jazz. Um, but yeah, like I said, for some reason this has made it so that the resources no longer stack inside of them, which is disappointing, but it is just how it is. We do have a geyser outside, a steam vent, which is interesting. Um, let's just go and look at the square we start on. So... Not too bad, average temperature all year round, that's not too much. We basically can grow all year round, which is nice for our serfs. But, as always, with a medieval setting, we have our issues with temperature control. So that's basically, unlike in the base game where this would consider be an easy start, this is basically, the temperature could be an issue for us. Um, but yes, so food isn't going to be too much of for our serfs. But we do have a lot of factions in the world. We have, there are some issues. I am using a couple of mods that basically add psychology. Um, and it does mess with some things, so don't worry too much into it. Uh, but the house of Saran is an ancient house. Yeah, so all this kind of jazz. Um, I had fixed quite a lot of things. So some of the stuff you may see floating around. Uh, just after we played, um, after we did the, the last few... I really sort of went back and fixed a lot of things. Uh, really sort of worked some things over, got some stuff sort of in place. But now, let us look at the tech tree. So, with the tech tree, everything beyond medieval is locked for us. You can't get it open. It's not possible. Um, I'd like if it basically made them disappear, but the, the mod that I'm using to limit tech... 
um, basically is very good at just like stopping it going further, but not removing it from the game. Probably to probably to prevent breaking issues. But we have still a lot of tech. There's a lot of medieval tech that we can get. Torpor, because obviously for some reason you need to have torpor. And electricity, I don't understand why that is. I, it's to do with the vampires. We were never going to we're never going to use it, and we can't build it, I don't think. Uh yeah, see look, they've basically removed removed it from the game because it basically the the mod that I'm using to remove tech basically removes all factions access to it. So even if they technically have it, you can't do anything with it. It basically just vanishes. Okay. So that's being done. Now we have a whole host of things that we can do. Um, but more than anything else, we need to basically get some standard structures in place. Uh, slab door. Let's see. I want something that's a good... For now, I'm going to do bone walls. High tent. No, let's just, let's just do a standard... Uh, wooden door on the front of the castle for now. That's getting fixed. Fantastic. So. First things we have to consider in our little... In our little castle. Is that we first things we have to do is get it into some degree of working order. So let's speed up time. Get the castle into shape. Um, we're going to do a basic chop wood order. Chip, keep the keep the clock going. And we're going to chop down the trees. We also have to be careful with chopping down trees because <laughs> um, there could be things there could be things lurking uh, in the trees. You know all that lovely thing. I've also got piles of human, like, piles of remains to clear up, all kinds of stuff. We're outdoors? Are we outdoors? Oh, okay, I see. But yeah, so, as it stands, Gwen is basically having a lovely little rest. And uh, getting her health back, but she will become thirsty soon. As you can see, there's no slaves in the colony. Eh. Slavery is honourable. Um, so they're a little bit unhappy about that, not slaves in the colony. Um, but what can you do, eh? Um, outdoors. It's saying it's outdoors. How is that? Zones. Build roof. No, oh, it's because of that. That tree is in the way. Okay. But as it stands, we are gathering what we can and basically clearing things up, which is fantastic. Seeing what is left of our keep. It's not great, folks. Not going to lie. Oh, there's a rat. Quickly, Gwen. Your serfs are in your serfs are in terrible, terrible danger. Especially considering that we don't have a lot of medicine. Gwen. Slay the rat. With your fierce blade, you shall chop the rat to bitch. Right, okay. But there we go. With her shield and her mighty, mighty gladius. She puts both away. Okay. Only a couple of bruises. You can tend to yourself. Uh, Jane can self-tend. Jane, get over here. There's a couple of scrapes. It's nothing major. What is Gwen doing? Wearing steel plate armor. 
probably changing out to something else. Okay. So he has decided to wear something different. That's fine. I'm putting a tabard on over the top. Ah, good point. Come now. Stop cowering. It's unseemly. Right. So she has got her armor equipped. So probably build an armor rack, to be honest, for them. Don't want her to be wearing all the good stuff and it all going to waste. Okay. Let's get some doors in place. Some basic rations. Let's close up the walls. So now we should be enclosed. Yeah, there we go. Enclosed. Okay, dokey. So, first things first. Our castle looks like an absolute wreck. Not good. We also don't have a ton of food lying around either. Uh, we have nettles. A whole host of things. Uh, is there any berry bushes? Probably not the best idea to eat berry bushes or eat things from berry bushes. You have a peach tree, apple tree. That's very nice. Um, well, I swear we saw a berry bush not too long ago. Might have just been a figment of my imagination. We also have mods in place to make it so the minerals basically I made more I picked up mods to make it more realistic so that basically the minerals blend into the backgrounds so we have coal unfortunately to get into there we'd have to go down and deal with the bugs which uh, no one really wants to be dealing with to be honest um there's all kinds of stuff there's also some nice beds floating about well, it's a poor bed um there seems to be a lot of ruins, so let's reinstall this bed here in the main crypt. Uh, let's deconstruct these skeletal remains. We need to build things like storage and all a host of things. Our castle's not in a great state, as you can tell. We also need to get some bedding down. So, also, we're a bit limited on what we can build. Um, a lot of the stuff we're going to be making is going to be made out of iron, so we need to basically have a forgery, foundry going, that kind of thing. Um, let's get some basic timber storage going as well. Um, yes, a lot to do to get our castle uh, well, a chapter house, really. It's not really a castle, to be honest. Where is everyone? You're there. Cloud watching. Put yourself together. Okay. Your construction. We claimed this, yeah? Hmm. Oh, I know why, because you need to click this. Get up there. Get that into place. And set owner to Gwen, who is our faction leader. Get some basic infrastructure in place, things to tidy up, things to do. But yes, soon the night will be upon us. And that comes with its own challenges. So, uh, let's go with structures. Now, where are the torches? Torches. There we go. Wall mounted lamp. Now, 
Not too important for everywhere in the castle, but just giving us a feel of what we need to do. We don't need it everywhere, we just need it in some places to have a bit of light on the problem. Whereas our vampire overlords can see in the dark, eh, well, the basic serfs cannot. We also have to, as I said, we had to be careful about chopping down trees. Um, because eh, there may be some things lurking in them. And as you can see, Gwen is a, a bit peckish. So, she has had major blood loss. But she has been fed upon, bitten by a vampire, so it makes her very happy. Gwen is going to go and clean up. But first, now we are just getting some lighting in place. Some things to do, it seems. Right. So, first of all, let's check out our characters. So, Gwen. Gwen Blackheart, who is a knight and the leader of our colony. Very good at social. Not too bad at intellectual pursuits. But very good at melee, because, you know, vampire. Um... Is Gwen's personality is creative and lies mostly on her feelings. Gwen has reached mastery in, in, in being expressive. She's known to be self-controlled when dealing with personal matters. Gwen is knitting a knitting enthusiast. That's very nice. Jane's personality, on the other hand, is adventurer, but lies mostly on her thinking. Over the years, Jane has grown to be a remarkably spontaneous person. She's become reassuring when pushed against her will. Reynold, Reynold is free-spirited and relies most on his feelings. He's well known for his self-absorbed behaviour, he becomes complacent when he's when he can run away with it. He's a goddamn psycho, so he likes to sneak around at night and watch people sleep. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, we need to also get some sleeping spots down as well, I believe. So you guys can chuck it in there. Basic barracks, nothing too big. Um I might just build a backup torch here so we can see what's going on. Let's get a bit of a light on the situation. Now Gwen is going to be basically, well, there's not much for Gwen to do outside of hunting down and killing stuff. So oh, we could get a, I believe if we go production, there is a mining spot, place to mine salt. Yeah, we can do that. Research spot. Let's throw a research spot down and then she can contemplate the universe. Uh, we could also sort of get rid of the iron stewing pot that has human remains in it. Um, so Gwen, she's really only good at breaking people, handling, wardening, that's fine, yep. Yeah. Magic, yeah, she's not bad at magic, but not, she hasn't got the gift for it. She's not bad at training. Uh, no fishing for the vampire. Um, but yes. I mean, Gwen can hunt, uh, but she can't butcher it, no, she can't brewing. Hunting, she's good at hunting. I mean, she's a vampire for Peter's sake. Um, need a research project as well. So. Let us see what we can have to do. To start with. Okay, so. We're in a situation. Where... We are a wee bit stuck technology-wise. Um, hinges and gates, maybe. Hinges and fastening technology allows for construction of swinging doors, such as large gates. It's near Levit Tech, but yeah, getting that going would be good, to be honest. Um, crude limbs, maybe. Artificial limbs. 
get us up to basic prosthetics, earth writing, leather scribing, so much to do. Tallow making, actually tallow making is probably a good thing to get as well. Grants, the ability to make tallow and associated products. Yeah. We probably want something like cultivation. Let's have a look. Yeah. Basic cultivation would be good as well. Because you've got basic cooking down. We do have Rimworld of Magic also kicking around, folks, just because, you know, magical things. Um, obelisks. Ooh, obelisks. Could be good. Um, but yeah, first thing we probably want to get is, if we're being honest with ourselves, um, ooh, primitive elixir creation. Allows to create the most basic varieties of elixirs in the drug table. Anyone at least with half a brain can make them. Hmm. That's something I'm tempted to get. So let's get... So let's let's set up, get some hit, get some, get that going, and then we'll get getting some basic scribing work done as well would be good, um, just to keep people entertained. But no, tallow is probably where we need to go, and then ooh cultivation, basic cultivation is going to be. Your basic agriculture, which will keep us going for a bit. What else do we need? Bee basic beekeeping, obelisks, pottery might be good. I mean, the thing is that, like, we are a medieval civilization, but we just don't know a lot. Because, you know, peasants, we know some basic things, like how to cultivate products and stuff. Thing. Yeah, let's go with, let's grab all the way up to that. Earth writing won't take us too long. Because we are, if I do recall, yeah, we are a faction, so we should be medieval tech. We are medieval tech, to my knowledge. So if we go to research, yeah, we are medieval tech. We should be, that issue. Excellent. So Gwen is going to basically blitz for a lot of the basic stuff. I also have researched backwards, so if you can see here, this this is a lovely little thing, um, which basically it allows you to like reinvent stuff. It's a lovely mod that allows you to. It feels more. It feels better for her to do it like this rather than just sitting at a bench, just like just like thinking about the air. So she can get bonuses from looking at various materials to allow her to think at um, basically to help, look, reinventing research, basically I believe the mod is called. So yeah, she's looking at the different materials, gives her a bonus to um, actually the main research. And we have a lot of different materials in here. All kinds of bones and fossilized material, which is fantastic. Everything's getting breaking broken down. Uh, that rat needs to get dealt with as well. We don't have any easy access to iron, so we can't produce a meat any meat hooks. And ooh, we actually do have some iron. That's actually really nice. Um, early on for our production. Also fixing up the bed for our master. As you can see, her research is coming along lovely and quick. But yes, so as it stands right now, our little fort is basically holding up. Just for the time being, it's doing an okay job. I'm going to probably destroy that because we could use the room. Get rid of the large remains. Uh, we do have some wheat. The thing is that, like, unlike in Basin Room World, with this one, I'm just going to say now, where we could, like, for example, just put down any kind of crop we need, um, 
yeah, we actually have the seed mod, so we actually have to gather plants, like gather seeds to basically plant stuff if we want stuff to grow. So there's a couple of ways for us to do this. We also need to think about food as well. Um, all kinds of things. Fantastic. Actually, we got a lovely longsword here. A bit more fitting for a knight. Steel longsword. The heated suit would be unequipped with a longsword. And that's okay. A knight should have a longsword. If nothing else. I mean, she has enough armor that she should be fine. Um, some more iron ingots. Fascinating. Okay. Um, that actually gives us quite a bit of room to play with. Uh, yeah, get rid of anything that's ruined. Get anything that's ruined. Cut down the thing that we don't need. Yeah. Cut down that tree. Okay. So our colonists are getting a lot of stuff done. Um, how's Gwen's mood? Tired. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Renald is over there. We do have some raspberry bushes. Hmm. That is interesting. We also have a nice access to resources underground. But we do have to worry about monsters in the dark. Now, I am going to say that the mod was supposed to take out a lot of stuff like this, but it does pop up from time to time, which just imagine that this basically this world has gone into like a post apocalyptic state and it's now gone all medieval. So if you see stuff that looks like electric popping up, eh, think of it like a magical a magical situation. We have all kinds of interesting creatures as well, like the Megalenhydris. Semi-aquatic mammal! These giant otters, basically they are giant otters. Fantastic. So lots of lovely things. I love, like I'm happy with the, com like, the combination of the mods we have. Um... We've got to destruct the broken doors. Um, we also just need to get some... Just some... You know, I'm going to also chop out these stumps so the wood can't come back. There we go. Take out the stumps. Um, but yeah, so... Elven timber? That's what it's only going to do, Elven Timber. Wooden Timber. Hmm. Strange. I thought we'd be able to store more stuff there. Uh, raw ab, that's what it is. I forgot. Yeah, we need a wood pile. Um, haha, that's my fault. Basically, you actually, to get timbers, you have to basically chop down and, well, you have to basically turn it into planks and all that kind of jazz. But yes. I don't know why they're putting bone on here. It should only be for. It should only be. Yeah, no, no food for a start. No bone for a start also. Man. Like I said, this some things went a bit weird with this uh with the medieval overhaul mod. Um So let's go. Yeah, just raw wood. All the different kinds of raw wood. That is wood, right? Yeah. Like I said, and then we'll put it to critical importance that it only goes into there. Okay. I'll get myself, I'll get the hang of the mod soon enough. OK, 
Okay, so let's get rid of the herb of medicine, get rid of the bone. Oh, it can only stack three things. That's not so bad. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, the game does have some issues with it being stacked on top of things rather than beneath it. Don't know why that is. But we are currently in the world. Also, nice little treat. Um, I did have the backpack mod on, so basically weapons now displayed. So if we get if we get Gwen up, you should be able to. Uh, it's disappeared now, but you should have her sword on her, which is lovely. Um, but yes, this has been Crimson Knights, folks. I've been Cornish Knight, and why are they? Yeah, need Cornish need beds. Yeah, well. Their serfs, they have to deal with it. But this is the other side of our new campaign. And we have a little castle set up. It's ruined, but we fixed it up. And from here, we shall helpfully rebuild our order. And, well, we'll see how that comes apart, because it may go terribly, terribly wrong. Um, who knows? I've been Cornish Knight. I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye.